Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 15 to October 21st, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards <clears throat> I want to remind you guys that uh, this is going to be a, a general reading for Scorpio Star Sign and it's not going to be your personal reading Therefore, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So we are going to the tarot spread first and uh, this is going to be a four card position spread and the first position is about uh, the topic of our Scorpius week. The second card is about the core of the situation. Third card, challenges which are causing predicaments and the last one is going to be about the guidance that tarot is offering to you for the remaining of the week. <clears throat> or for the duration. So let's see what we got. Now the first card, mm, not the ideal start or not the ideal topic that I was hoping to see here as I am a Scorpio. So we do have an Eight of Cups and Eight of Cups is rather... Mm, uh, it's, it's a very complex manifestation of the card because the Eight of Cups is a card pointing that something isn't quite right. Even though our agendas, you know, our undertakings, relationships, career paths or whatever are moving on smoothly, they still may seem a little bit odd to us in the sense of that we may think that we can do even more with them. So that week as a topic, it's probably going to um, kind of like move under uh, the idea of that we have to incorporate um, for example you know um, new services if we are in the field of private business or uh, <clears throat> we need to start doing new enterprises so we can feel ourselves fulfilled and happy and in general we have to realize that we need new perspectives in our life and this is what the Eight of Cups is pointing, that even if the current situation is rather unsatisfiable, you know, and unsettling, a, a new perspective needs to be found and so needs to emerge very soon. This is basically what um, this card is pointing. Therefore, uh, that particular week, we have to seriously consider what we are doing in our lives uh, and with our lives in general and you know is this the uh, the bare minimum or the maximum that we can do and if we kind of re anal anal analyze excuse me uh, that specific thought or you know that mindset we are to realize that actually we're doing the bare minimum and when i think of myself i can see that and I can see that in every field of my life, you know, which speaks that I can bring you so much more content, guys. Um, I have to go um, and spend more time out with with people and socializing and etc, etc. Because right now that's the truth for me at least, you know, I'm doing the bare minimum. So that has to change, obviously, when we do have that specific card and uh, I have to sit down after I'm done with those videos and start thinking about, you know, what I can improve in my life. And I can advise you for you to do the same. So uh, in the grand scheme of things, the Eight of Cups, it's a card pointing that we have to find our uh, our calling, our, our new way, something that will really make us kicking. And this deliberation will be throughout the week, October 15th to October 21st. So that card is not about change, but it is more like thinking of how to change, how to make difference, how to shape, how to traverse, and as well, you know, basically how to convert uh, our lives into much more um, suitable, beneficial, and pleasant lives in general. So... Um, uh, as a topic, you need to think, if you are unhappy in your relationship, you need to think 
how much you are giving in and can you not actually provoke um, a different perspective there same thing goes for your career because you can it is just you need to think of how you can do it and then the next card is going to be the core of the situation that will be the uh, Queen of Cups a very passive card so uh, this is uh, this is what I'm talking about here the Queen of Cups points that we have placed ourselves into uh, into some sort of a, I don't know the English word for that but let's say um, self-sustainable drive it's kind of like what we are making right now how we live our lives it seems enough for us but again it's the bare minimum that we can achieve so what I'm trying to say here Scorpios is that from this week October 15 to October 21st. Moving on forward, your perspectives are only about improvement, but also you have to work for it. I mean, you can't expect that, you know, it, that it's going to happen on its own accord. You need to recognize that you can do so much more, and so much more is what you are going to do if you roll up your sleeves and start toiling for it, start working for it. Because the Queen of Cups here as a core of the situation points that this far what you're doing it is just waiting. What you're waiting for, well, some of you may know, some of you may don't know, but definitely, you know, it's, it's kind of like you can um, feel the gaps of, um, of your state of inactivity. And they don't have to be uh, filled, you know, with actions toward a specific goal that currently is set on halt. But you can definitely, as I said, invite more enterprises in your life that will make a, a huge difference about how you feel and in generally about how you take on life as a grand scheme of things. Important here to be acknowledged as well is um, about the feeling within. Because these couple of cards, they are cup, cups cards and they are all about emotions, alright. In one, you are not feeling, I mean as a topic of the week, you are not feeling very satisfied from the situation. As I said, because the situation could be so much better, alright, and you are moving on forward. That is based on the feelings here that, you know, you have waited for quite a long time and now it's time to change something about it to make a difference about it so the next card is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments now we do have the devil card so we have more people involved in your life throughout the week and actually with this card uh, these are people who are really breathing in your neck oppressing you and giving you timelines ultimatums and in generally these people are exerting power over you with the devil card uh, there nothing really big can be done because for some reason you are dependable from them now we do have a couple of people here you know the man and the woman chained so the only way for you to detach from um, from this influence is to basically resign from your job break your relationship etc etc what I'm trying to say here is, is that <clears throat> there is a way you can um, escape that situation you know basically flee away from it but you have to abandon as well all the benefits from it so that will not be an a um, and a good option for you because as we said you can achieve so much more and um, I could give you a couple of examples here in the grand scheme of things, but I will give you an example with me, you know, because um, um, uh, probably you have noticed that I'm not very active recently with my fav Facebook page, lives, and that is due a, a, a technical issue that I have, basically my motherboard fried. And so right now I'm waiting for uh, my new piece of technology to come by that should happen next week you know in this week October 15 to October 21st and it's exactly what we do have even though the situation it is so unsatisfiable for me right now we are uh, I or I am to improve with that new perspective with that new enterprise with the new piece of technology and so it is up to me what I'm going to do with it here and that's why I need to look into a, a different perspective or a new content to give you, all right? 
and I will have obviously people bringing on my neck which is you know my manager uh, my staff behind you know my marketing and etc etc they will seriously bring in my neck but that is something positive here all right it's just I <laughs> I have to cope with it one way or another not to mention that my manager is a Capricorn so the devil card is the representative of Capricorn so definitely it's gonna be a uh, an interesting times should I say that way but yeah generally that's that so you you can incorporate that um, that example into your situation and make something out of it you know but literally this is what these cards are pointing that that will be a change of perspective throughout the week that you're gonna have realizing that with the means you are about to have or you have at this very moment you can do so much more but now you're doing a, a bare minimum out of it so uh the last one this is going to be the uh guidance that uh, uh tarot has for you and the guidance is that you should not be discouraged if the result doesn't come straight away because the hierophant asks for time of development the hierophant is the um the orthodox so um unfoldment of one's undertaking and of one's situation so you cannot kind of surpass a certain points of plan or a certain points of development just to give you an example here but not with me just a general example let's say that you have recently have a crush on someone and that someone have a crush on you as well well you cannot jump straight away in the, in the relationship what the hierophant asks you is to go with the orthodox way of how you can build, build it you know date um uh, first uh, but kind of like get to know each other all right etc etc and when you have enough trust into one another then is when you can start thinking about relationship when we're talking about career with the hierophant why you're working you know today's day one is working to build up money but the orthodoxal thought of it is that one works so can be useful and so therefore the money has to be something that comes on its own accord here right when you do job you shouldn't think about money but you should think more about your productiveness and if you do so the money are going to find you on their own accord if not from that company from another company that will be because the eight of cups here may um, with the queen of cups may lead to the recognition that oh my god this company does not can offer me anything any longer therefore i basically need to find another job but that job should be exactly the same or in, in the same niche that i am working on uh, in right now so uh basically that's that with the tarot reading now let's go to the lenormand card reading and what the lenormands are going to point us is a uh, event that we should either look forward to or um try to avoid if we can of course so let's cut them on and uh, the first one that is going to be the mountains so the mountains are about difficulties delays um, a path around also the uh, the next one that will be the mouse and the mouse is about theft it's about loss and it's about small bites and then what we do have here is the bucket. The bucket is, uh, is about benefits, bonus, and about the, in generally recognition here. So uh, th th this has a couple of ways to manifest. So uh, the, the most negative way of how this manifests is that a, a problems are going to completely deprive us from a certain rewards, benefits, payments etc etc or a uh, delays are going to bite from those rewards or delays uh, or uh, benefits or kind of like recognitions so it's kind of like uh, we are not going to have the full extent you know of the um, of the payment and under payment i don't mean only money but in generally you know um in generally how people repay of your for your efforts uh, to its full extent throughout the week because there will be some delays as well or um, so or we will have to find another way how to cope with difficulties which again is going to cause delays and predicaments so literally that's that guys and uh, 
Uh, I could suggest you here Scorpio to um, basically try, you know, to kind of re-examine your life when we're looking at this reading and re-examine uh, your situations in relationship and in career and define, you know, uh, basically how far they can go because if you do so at this particular stage, you may discover that they cannot go that far. And obviously, has something needs to be provoked to change in it, and uh, you need to define how to do that as well. Uh, well, for me, that will be the new piece of technology. For you, is going to be something different. Anyway, you need to take a certain measures for it. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for October 15 to October 21st, 2018. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again I want to remind you that this was just a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you well that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. We're out signing out now. See you next time. Bye.